Debate continued on the Appropriation Financial Year 2023 bill in the House of Representatives on Monday. Chief among the debate was an increase in allocation for development programs within the Rural Development Ministry and additional opportunities for young people. Kimberly D'Souza has more. Minister of Youth Development and National Service Foster Cummings said the government will do all that's possible to invest in young people. Speaking during debate on the Appropriation Financial Year 2023 bill, Minister Cummings said one such initiative is its Safe Space project. In that space, they'll be able to socialize with their peers in a safe environment. In that space, they'll be able to access training programs towards their own development at the state's expense. In that space, they'll be able to take part in certain recreational facilities. And therefore, you would find less and less of them being available to be recruited into illegal activity. Minister of Rural Development and Local Government Faris al Alarawi said the government is aware of the need for local government reform and, as such, the allocation for markets, abattoirs, drainage and local roads will increase. With respect to drainage, we have a nearly 82% increase in funding for drainage across the board. In improvements to market and abattoirs, a 194% increase in monies. Local roads, 125% increase, and I stick a pin on local roads. That does not include the $200 million that the secondary road repair company is going to engage in spending. MP for Moruga Tableland, Michelle Benjamin, called on government to address some of the road issues in her constituency. I am here today, Mr. Deputy Speaker, to plead on behalf of my constituents that some willpower be put within this project, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Because if it is not done, I stand to lose 10 homes along the Murga Roadway. The budget debate continues in the lower house. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News.